Good morning to everybody. Uh, so uh, before, before going deeper into the details of this uh, project, I'd like to give you an overview of uh, the research and of uh, the main research goal. So what we would like to do is to study the tumor uh, tissue. And in particular, uh, we want to study uh, and detect a population of tumor proteins and to uh, follow their evolution into the tumor landscape. We collaborate with the uh, clinical and experimental oncologists and uh, they are indeed very interested in uh, understanding how these tumor proteins are changing in relation to the proliferation of tumoral cells. But uh, of course, these uh, disciplines, uh, they are still lacking uh, the resolution, the sensitivity that is needed when we work with the very low concentration of analytes. And this is why we need the nanotechnologies. And in particular, we want to use silicon nanowires because uh, thanks to their high surface to volume ratio and uh, their small sizes, they can have a single molecule resolution. Moreover, we want to use the exquisite nature of uh, the uh, antigen and the antibody system because we need a very high specificity if we work in the hostile breast tumor uh, tissue. So this is the outline of my presentation. I will introduce the topic and uh, I will then uh, describe the fabrication of uh, the sensor and the sensing approach. I will show some results and uh, I will end up with some conclusions. So uh, in literature, uh, there are actually a lot of work uh, on silicon nanowire based sensors. Uh, many groups uh, achieved the uh, very low uh, eye sensitivity uh, detection but uh, most of them are actually working in a very controlled environment that is the buffer IC. We also showed last year in Baltimore that uh, we can use silicon nanowire field effect transistor sensor for the detection of very low concentration of antigen. But we did it in a phosphate buffer saline solution, so a very controlled environment. And uh, there is a problem in this case because when we are in a solution, uh, we have the device screening effect of uh, counter ions uh, and uh, we actually demonstrated that we can reach higher sensitivity if we work uh, in air after the incubation and the diffusion of the antigen to the antibodies on top of the surf surface of the nanowires. In this way, we get rid of the bulk solution and we can have a higher, uh, a bigger, a larger device event. But this year we want to work, I want to show that we can work also in a breast tumor tissue and uh, this is much more challenging. Indeed, uh, a tumor extract is a concentration of uh, many proteins, many adipocytes and uh, many charged species and all these uh, um, molecules can change the electrical behavior of our nanowires. So if our sensor has to find uh, the antigen in very low concentration in such an environment, it has to be highly specific. And uh, um, if, we work, if we want to work in air, we need to optimize the washing protocols and the blocking of the surface to get rid of the non-specific proteins on top, of, on top of the surface. Another issue is uh, related to the high enzymatic activity inside the tumor extract. Indeed, there are a lot of uh, enzymes such as proteases that can digest antigen molecules inside the tumor extract, but also the antibodies at the surface of the nanowires. We studied the resistance of our uh, antibodies and antigen molecules to the activity of these enzymes, and we found that they can resist for no longer than two hours. That, uh, that is why we are working in air, so that we can uh, uh, and we incubate for less than uh, two hours and in this way, our sensor is much more uh, stable in time. And another problem, of course, is the very limited amount of uh, uh, patient samples and the, the low concentration of analytes. In our approach, we use uh, we prepare tumor extract by mechanical destruction of uh, 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 breast tumor tissue biopsies, and we uh, dilute this uh, material in solution thousand times. And uh, then we use silicon nanowire field effect transistors. We fabricate them and uh, we made them optimal sensor uh, by using uh, uh, antibodies. 
We then incubate the sensor in a solution of tumor extract plus the antigen molecules. We uh, firstly, firstly decided to work with the exogenously added rabbit antigen for many reasons. First of all, we were not uh, sure yet uh, of the impact of uh, the antigen uh, of the tumor extract over our sensors. So we wanted to work with an antigen that is not expressed in the human tissue, tumor tissue. And in this way, we can, be, we can spike the uh, antigen in very known concentration inside the tumor extract and we can be sure of the specificity of uh, our sensing. And also we, could, uh, uh, we can compare with some previous results we got on the same antigen with the, uh, another silicon and other technology based on silicon and wires. We then have to wash the sensor uh, with the, an optimized protocol of washing to remove all the non-specific proteins. And we can then measure in air the conductance of the nano nanowire. The fabrication was performed at the Delft University of Technology. Here we can see a cross-section of the device we used. The fabrication process is actually a pretty simple process that enabled the fabrication of very controllable nanowires in size and very flat and smooth surfaces. In the fabrication process, we use silicon oxide as a hard mask for the photolithography and then we use the anisotropic KOH hatcher in order to have a lateral underhatch beneath the uh, hard mask and to reach uh, very flat side walls. The high quality structures we uh, obtained uh, helped a lot the biofunctionalization process, especially in terms of uh, homogeneity. The biofunctionalization process was performed at the University of Lausanne and uh, it's, uh, it consists of uh, uh, many steps uh, of modification of the surface with the aim of improving the specificity of the sensor. We need to hydroxylize the surface so to have, in order to have OH groups that can uh, block silence on top of our na uh, nanowires. Then silent chemistry is used to um, cross-link the antibody to the, the antibodies to the surface of uh, the nanowires. Then we need to block the first time with ethanolamines in order to block the unreacted sites. And uh, we also had to, uh, to add a further step uh, of blocking of the surface and we used gelatin from cold fish skin and we demonstrated to, that we can have specificity uh, increase thanks to this blocking step. And then we incubated in antigen for one hour at room temperature in order to allow the uh, antigen diffusion uh, until the antibodies. The sensing is based on the field effect of uh, biomolecules uh, on our nanowires. So if you look at the, um, at the FET, at the field effect transistor technology, we use uh, normally a gate uh, for um, changing the conductance of uh, the channel by creating depletion or accumulation of the carriers inside uh, the, the device. But when we talk about biosensors, we don't have any more this kind of gate because we need to immerse the sensor inside a solution, of an electrolyte, that in our case is a, a tumor extract plus the antigen molecules. And we have to consider also all the monolayer of antibodies all around the, the nanowires. And as you know, antigens and antibodies are proteins, so there are very long chains of uh, amino acids. And uh, when they are at physiological condition, some of them can actually lose or gain some protons and can thus help a, pro a positive or a, a negative charge. So if you look, for example, at the crystallographic structures of uh, an antibody, uh, we can see that uh, we have a net charge that is uh, positive. The antigen uh, specific for these antibodies will have a complementary charge and will interact with it. So uh, we can say that the biomolecules uh, are actually working, acting as a gate for the nanowires. For the nanowires. So if we change the concentrations, uh, we can play, we can change the conductance of the nanowires and uh, we, uh, we perform the measurement in air for increased uh, sensitivity. The, uh, some results. So uh, in this case, we have the uh, current versus the voltage uh, measured on uh, nanowire field effect transistor sensors. 
uh, that was incubated in uh, increasing concentration of antigen molecules. The sensing parameter parameters, as I said, is the conductance, so the slope uh, of the curve. And uh, as we can see, there is an increase of the conductance as uh, uh, a function of uh, the antigen concentration in tumor extract. We also run some uh, competitive binding experiments uh, in order to test the specificity of the sensing. Uh, we use uh, specific and non-specific uh, uh, solutions uh, with same concentration uh, in uh, tumor extract. And uh, we found that uh, uh, actually the non-specific antigen was not evoking a response in our sensor. Uh, while as, you can, as we can see, the specific, the specific one is, uh, um, is increasing uh, the conductance as uh, demonstrated by the bigger slope. And uh, so we can say that our sensor is re resistant to noise. And we have to remember that the noise is the 100,000 mass excess of non-specific proteins inside the tumor. We also run some statistics on uh, different nanowires, many nanowires, uh, in a wider range of concentrations. And uh, so as we can see from uh, this graph, we have uh, an increase of the conductance uh, as a linear function of the antigen concentration. So uh, in conclusion, uh, we fabricated very high quality silicon nanowires uh, field effect transistors and um, we made them optimal sensors uh, and uh, we use the specificity of the immunoassays and uh, we also uh, improve the, um, we optimize the washing protocol and uh, all the uh, blocking steps of the surface to increase the specificity. And in this way, uh, we ma managed to uh, detect phantom molar concentration of antigen in the very difficult, very complex mixtures of proteins that is the tumor extract. We still want to improve the specificity of the of the sensor because we would like to increase to um, to increase the concentration of the tumor extract in order to approach the real concentration in tumor tissue. And uh, we could we want to embed uh, to embed our sensor in a microfluidic systems in order to improve the performances of the sensor. And uh, in this way, uh, we, we will be able to measure in tumor angiogenic and inflammatory ligands inside the tumor tissue. And uh, with this, I'd like to acknowledge all the co-authors of the papers. And uh, I thank you all for the attention.